Number nine, the Boiling River. There was once an explorer named Andres Ruzo who heard tales of a very interesting legend about a river deep in the jungles of South America and sought it out. He found it and in the process encountered one of the strangest things in the natural world. That's right, there is a river in the Amazon rainforest that is quite literally boiling. It's called the Shane Timpishka, and has been known to the native people of Peru, called the Ashaninka, who live in the forest near it for quite some time. The temperature of the water is a scorching 200 degrees Fahrenheit, which means that just about anything alive that goes into that river will be boiled alive. Even the mud that is made from this water is so hot to touch that it can cause third degree burns. This tributary of the Amazon River is four miles in length, so it's not a small spot of boiling water. This river is considered the only boiling river in the world today, and there's no definitive answer as to why the river is this way. Some think the river is somehow attached to a geothermal vent, which exudes a lot of heat and thus makes it boil to such a degree. There is also a thought that the boiling water comes from somewhere else and is pooled into the river, but neither has been proven and the geothermal vent theory has been questioned due to the fact that the nearest volcano is 400 miles away from the river. Now, obviously, this natural wonder brings a lot of danger to the local residents, but they've learned to live with it and even find ways to make it work for them. The local people use parts of the river in their everyday lives. It's a convenient method of boiling food or doing laundry. There are even healing centers that use the water for their practices. It just goes to show that while it may be treacherous to newcomers, if you know what you're dealing with, remarkable things like this river can be used for good. Number 8. Ancient Uncontacted Tribes Given the state of the world in terms of the land masses we've explored and the maps we've made, you'd think that there weren't any ancient uncontacted tribes left to be found. But you would be wrong, because some of them live in the Amazon rainforest far away from modern civilization, and they don't like to be disturbed. Ever. In fact, They've been known to attack drones and even kill unfortunate hikers and adventurers who come into their territory. Recently, Brazilian officials took some photos of a few of these people via aircraft. We did the overflight to show their houses, to show they are there, to show they exist, said one Brazilian uncontacted tribes expert. This is very important because there are some who doubt their existence. That leads to another problem because while some don't think these tribes are real, they definitely are, and logging is driving uncontacted tribes out of their ancestral lands. It could even lead to conflict with the estimated 500 uncontacted Native Americans already living on the Brazilian side. What is happening in this region of Peru is a monumental crime against the natural world, the tribes, the fauna, and is further testimony to the complete irrationality with which we, the civilized ones, treat the world, said one official. As a result of this, people are trying to allow these mysterious tribes to live in peace, but it's not easy with the Amazon rainforest getting smaller and smaller every day. There are a million reasons to not continue logging the Amazon rainforest, but for some reason, the Brazilian government seems powerless to stop the destruction. What do you think will happen if this continues? Number seven, geoglyphs. Despite the Amazon rainforest being such a thick place to penetrate, we know that humans live in there and have lived around in the area for various reasons. Not the least of which is that they left their markings in the ground for others to find. 2,000 year old huge geometric earthworks form squares and circles that stretch as far as a city block in certain areas. Some trenches are 12 feet wide and 13 feet deep, which is not an easy thing to accomplish for sure, especially in the time periods where this would have likely been made. The question then becomes, why are these geoglyphs there? That is sadly something we don't know for various reasons, but those who have studied these markings seem to think that they have to do with how the people of the land lived in these areas. New estimates for the population of Amazonia in pre-colonial times range between 6 and 10 million people, which is many more than today, says Jennifer Watling, an archaeologist who led the study. These people had many ingenious ways of making the forest more productive without damaging it for future generations. This notion of conservation is not lost on some, but sadly is very much lost on others, as many logging companies are tearing into the Amazon rainforest and absolutely not leaving it undamaged for future generations. Number six, Victoria Amazonica. 
How about something both mysterious and fascinating? All over the world, you'll find various versions of lily pads. These flowers are helpful both to the waters and the animals that live on and around them. We think we know all about lily pads, of course, and they aren't very interesting most of the time, but that's all about to change. That's right, if you want to see one that truly boggles the mind, you need to see the Victoria Amazonica, a lily pad so massive and strong that a person could sit on it and it wouldn't sink. This plant, named after Queen Victoria of the United Kingdom, can reach 10 feet in diameter and looks astonishingly beautiful. What's more, they even have thorns embedded in them to protect themselves from predators. How such lily pads came to exist is a bit unknown, but it's truly a wonder to behold up close. Would you like to have a monster massive lily pad in your pool? Or in a pond near your house? It would be nice to sit on and relax, don't you think? With a few of them, you could leap across the water with no problem. Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Then remember to subscribe to The Biggest right afterwards so you can stay up to date with more amazing videos. Number five, ancient settlements. Going back to the people that once resided within the realm of the Amazon once upon a time, in 2018, a series of ancient settlements were uncovered within the area. How many exactly? 81. Which is staggering for all sorts of reasons, not the least of which was that previous studies of the Amazon rainforest made it clear that such settlements were not likely to be found, and yet not only were they, they are quite numerous. Prominent scholars thought that little of cultural significance had ever happened in a tropical forest. It was supposed to be too highly vegetated, too moist, and the corollary to those views was that people never cut down the forests. They were supposed to have been sort of noble savages, noted one scientist. However, they were far from savages, as they had the ability to craft quite unique settlements and maintain what was around them within the rich, fertile ground of the rainforest. Arguably the best and most intriguing part is that there are those who feel that there are potentially hundreds more ancient settlements like these, each one of which could help clear up the mystery of what happened in the time before the actions of humans were recorded. What do you think? How many more of these ruins are out there? What secrets do they hold? Number 4. City of Z It's not surprising that the Amazon rainforest has an abundance of mysteries attached to it. But some stick out more than others. One of the most famous is Percy Fawcett and the legend of the City of Z. While the conquistadors were the first to truly try and search for ancient lost cities in the jungles of South America, including the legendary El Dorado, one of the more recent explorations for a lost city occurred in 1925. A man named Percy Fawcett went into the jungles of Brazil to find a place he referred to as Z, which would later be known as the City of Z. He and his team were never seen again after they went in, and the mystery of what happened to that team looms to this day. His journey began in 1906, where he was contacted by the Royal Geographical Society to do some surveying on the lands between Brazil and Bolivia. While doing so, he got the urge to research and find lost civilizations that might have been hidden within the jungles of these nations. While doing some research, he found a document by an explorer in 1753. The explorer wrote that he had found a city within the Mato Grosso region of the Amazon rainforest. This place was apparently Greek in style and laden with silver. Over the following years, Fawcett set out on many expeditions to find the city of Z, but he met with no success. Anyone who has been to the Amazon or any significant jungle knows that traversing it is not easy. Some might even say it's impossible if you're not properly equipped. Many of the men who joined Fawcett on his expeditions died for one reason or another, and all of his expeditions, save for his final one, made him turn back. His final letter before his disappearance noted that he was trekking through the region and hoped to send good news soon. No word from him or his party came after that, and though many rescue parties were sent in after him, his body was never found. Despite this, there have been many expeditions into the jungles of South America since then, and many cities have been found within them. But no trace of the mythical City of Z has been found yet, nor any trace of Fawcett and his party within any reasonable measure. What happened to them in there? We just don't know. What do you think? Number 3. Maracoxi Various parts of the world have their own version of the Bigfoot legend, and in the jungles of South America, that would be the Maracoxi. Like most Bigfoot stories, this is about a large, hairy creature that roamed the jungles. 
but according to the man that found them, who was, wouldn't you guess, Percy Fawcett, they were more than just hairy apes. They were living in villages together and even knew how to use bows and arrows. Of course, that demonstrated an intelligence that many other Bigfoot legends do not have. However, couldn't it have just been a tribe of hairy humans? The whole thing seems suspicious. Fawcett would go on to further explain his encounter with them in the book Lost Cities, Lost Trials and describe them as very hostile towards humans for one reason or another. But when the men in Fawcett's party fired off their guns, these mysterious creatures ran away. As for their name, they were called the Maracoxi because they lived close to a tribe known as the Maksubi. Number two, Kashapona. This next one is something that scientists know to be true, but you have to be patient in order to witness it. You see, there have been stories about trees being alive in the more traditional sense, and were spurred on by tales of the Ents and Hurons in Lord of the Rings. But in the Amazon, there are indeed trees that move on their own, and they're known as Kashapona. Now, before you start freaking out and screaming that there are sentient trees in the world, that's not exactly true. Yes, these trees move, but not in the way that Ents did in the movies. Rather, these Kashapona move via their roots. Their roots are naturally drawn towards the sunlight, and so the roots will grow to be closer to the sunlight and replace the old roots, thus creating movement. But if that sounds slow, it's because it is. It's incredibly slow. So you'll need to have a very sharp eye or a long attention span to actually see them moving. Number one. The Unknown Species. Here's the thing, while the Amazon rainforest is a vast and beautiful thing, it's also something that is largely unexplored by man as a whole. Yes, we know of creatures that live in it like macaws, jaguars, various snakes, piranhas in the water, and so on, but to say we know all the species in the rainforest would be a lie. As we frequently discover, there are new species found somewhat regularly within the forest. Insects, birds, spiders, and even plants are encountered within the rainforest and its waters that amaze people when they're found. And given the massive scale of the rainforest, how many other unknown species lie within is a true mystery. Thank you all for watching! What did you think of this look at the mysterious things found within the Amazon rainforest? What else could be lying in wait for someone to find in your mind? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time right here on The Biggest.